Alright, so we had a great enough parade night of torch dance. We had two fabulous acts, and right now I'm sitting with O'Shea, Nathan, Christian, and Devin. Alright, so I uh, just want to ask you guys some questions about your music history, how long you guys have been together. Um, so, O'Shea, uh, what got you into rapping? Um, I've been rapping since I was about six years old. Um, really, it was just like my pops. He was rapping. I was a boy who wanted to be like his pops, so I started rapping. And, uh, just took off from there. Um, I think Nas really influenced me to start writing. Uh, a song called One Mike, and uh, I've just been rapping ever since I was six. I've been writing since I was nine. I've been recording since I was 11. So. Awesome. Nathan, how do you get into drumming and songwriting? Uh, well, I was going into middle school, and uh, my dad was always in band uh, when he was in high school and, and after when he was in college. And I couldn't really play anything else but drums, uh, so <laughs> I just was like, I'll just hit things. And I always liked like drumming. Um, Big influences are John Bonham of Led Zeppelin. That's a huge one. Um, Blink, Travis Barker, stuff like that. But I've been playing since I was about 11. And I've only met Devin uh, like fr freshman year. So it's, we've been playing only a couple of years. Not even, because it's hard in the dorms. But <laughs> yeah, that's about it. How about you, Christian? How do you get into electronic music? Um, I've been in music my whole life. I played trumpet when I was little. I was in choir for like nine years. I um, played a little guitar when I was really young. Um, but yeah, so towards the end of my high school career, I just kind of on a limb got real into DJing and um, came to college and started linking up with like O'Shea, just a bunch of other bands and hip hop artists, um, basically just expanding that, you know, scope of influence. And uh, yeah, got into producing. We've been producing electronic music for about a year now, so just trying to push that forward every day, you know. Totally. How about you, Devin? Um, mine started really young. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I started drums at like three. Around that time, my grandpa got me actually um, like a starter kit or something, you know, like the mini ones that you probably get from Sears or something. Oh, yeah. And then um, from there, you know, I focused solely on that for like three years and then I picked up the bass and then a year later a guitar, the, the guitar and um, yeah so I've been playing music since I was three. Um, I always had records around like my grandpa's house and CDs in my parents car um, and it's just something like I was never good at sports so <laughs> like I don't know if we can all relate to that. Oh, never totally, totally. <laughs> never <laughs> never was, no, yeah. I was, I was, I was, I was solid. Like, <laughs> I was decent. I was like Kobe man. <laughs> but yeah, it was like this. Yeah, in a barrel. It was like the one outlet that I had that, like, you know, could like contain my energy into, and uh, just kind of been in love with it ever since. So yeah. Cool. Do you have like any like specific bands that like when you first listen to them, you're like, wow, I want to make music just like this. Um. Yeah, I. Well, for drums, when I started at a young age, it was. It was like classic rock bands like Led Zeppelin, um, The Who. Keith Moon was a huge influence when I was uh, a little bit younger. And then I started getting into like pop punk and stuff like Blink, like Nathan said. Um, and as for like bass and guitar, honestly, Kiss inspired me to play the bass because I was like six and I was like, nah, the makeup is awesome. Like, <laughs> they have blood on them, cool. Um, so I thought of myself as Gene Simmons. In, <laughs> and then, you know, guitar, um, guitar and piano and singing, man. Yeah, Clapton was huge for me on the guitar. Um, Sinatra for singing, for sure. I, I try and do my best Sinatra every time I sing, even you know, in my own style. Just piano's great too. It's just yeah. fun. <laughs> um, so. so I guess for you three, not as much you, Christian. Um, you all have very like very interesting like songwriting abilities and like directions you all go in. Um, do you guys um, like get your songwriting ability from like? singers you listen to or is it maybe like literature study or poetry study yeah um well i just kind of just I, I study like hip-hop and I, I i study like my favorite artists and the way that they write and i kind of like take a little bit from everybody and try to mix it in and make it my own style that's really where it comes from for me there's nothing that i like study like in school or anything but i, I did study the game like hip hop and stuff so yeah I just listen to a lot of different kinds of music, uh, and by where I draw influence from, it's, I don't write, I have, I have a hard time writing, um, unless it's something that I'm feeling deep emotionally, I guess, as like, I don't know, as, as weak, quote unquote, as that sounds, I just don't, 
that's what I write. That's when I write. That's what I write from. I don't really go off anybody. I mean, the front bottoms, modern baseball. That's what I've been doing kind of recently. It's like they're just they're like emotional. out there like yeah, that. They're so. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just that's that's where I get influences from for topics. Words are just whatever I can come up with real quick or write down or think about. But that's about it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, mine's kind of like a mix. It's weird. Uh, somebody actually just asked me about my like songwriting style earlier today, um, but I kind it's like on the same page as Nate's, where you know if I'm feeling something, I'll try and put that like poetically through words, or even just to go out there and say it. Like, you know, this happened. Um, you know, with night, that's kind of how it was. As I was just like feeling some type of way about a certain situation, and then it just kind of like the first take were, are like the official lyrics for it, I guess. Um, but then I also go into like concept writing as well. Um, a few of our other songs that are on the album are, and you know, in our future releases as well, are like more concept driven of like, just an idea that I had. Cause I, I, I read a lot of comics. <laughs> so I'm always like trying to come up with a story. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always trying to come up with some sort of different story that might be like interesting or relatable to someone else. Um, but yeah, I also like reading too, and I'm kind of with O'Shea where like, I love hip hop, like I love all sorts of music, so, you know, I'm not limited by like one um, sort of writing style, because I like, you know, I hear it all like from Kendrick to Johnny Cash to, you know, modern baseball and front bottoms, so, yeah. I think it's really cool that like modern baseball and front bottoms are now being spoken with like Johnny Cash and Led Zeppelin, like the biggest artists, yeah. and now we're talking about these like modern like young punk bands are yeah. becoming something big. Um, so Christian, um, you obviously have way more electronic ability than I have, will ever have with um, synthesizers. I know like a lot of conservative people will say that's not an instrument. I totally disagree. Totally. Can you like explain maybe how tough it is to really, really lay down a beat as you feel? Yeah, and uh, a lot of where that stuff comes from, you know, it takes no talent to be a DJ, I've heard it all. Um, people don't see what goes on behind the scenes. So um, a lot of times, like today when I did for O'Shea, you know, I pretty much pressed play and did a little bit of scratching. That doesn't take much. But they don't see the hours you put in at home, um, in the, not only in the studio, but just in mixing and in getting that perfect mix. And um, whenever I'm doing my own sets, uh, whatever you're hearing is nine times out of 10, either heavily remixed or something that it, it sounds completely different as it's coming out than how it was produced, you know what I'm saying? So one thing that I really try to focus on is just blending genres and throwing in elements that m people of any sort of musical background can appreciate. And that's one thing, that's one thing that I really push for is just to, to open that spectrum up to people, you know? Yeah. Because I mean like, you have this hard dubstep beat and then you can slow it into something a little more mellow and then add you know, some horns over it and then wow, all of a sudden it's this jazzy beat that two seconds ago we were just losing our minds over, you know? It's really cool how you can, with electronic music, you can blend genres like never before and you can do it seamlessly. And it really has a powerful impact on people when you do it properly. Totally. Yeah. Um, so, Shay, you spoke to me earlier about you guys starting up a, um, your own record label and both of these two acts will have upcoming releases on that. Do you want to elaborate on that? Yes, sir. Um, so, me and Devin, or Devin and I, we are, uh, <laughs> we are Soul Touch, uh, along with... Nate, he's in City Sun. Yeah. Um, we own the label. Stop. Okay. Um, we just started up a few months ago. We made our launch Stop. in January, and we've been working on the on an album. Yeah. That we're gonna Actually. release. <laughs> um, What's the first? Yeah. The date? Yeah. Um, the release is like t officially now. It's April fifteenth. Um, it's called Light Under the Door. <laughs> <laughs> it's exclusive right now. <laughs> it's exclusive. Yeah. Um, so Light Under the Door, April fifteenth, coming out. Soul Touch Records is the first release from us. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be a collection of uh, some of my music along with City Sons music, and uh, it's gonna be dope, man. So just be on the lookout for that April 15th. I yeah. definitely will be excited for that. Um, I'm all out of questions. If you guys have any questions for me, if not, we could just wrap this up. No, yeah. that's it. Yeah. All right, thanks, yeah. guys. This was awesome. Sure. Thank, yeah. you. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you for having us.